off with Bud going you, with the uh, Lombardi Ball, and you were there a couple of years ago. Yeah. What are your favorite memories or favorite thoughts of Bud? Well, I, I tell people this all the time. He was more than an owner. He was almost like uh, a family member and treated, treated the players. He, he felt like his players, his, 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 kid, his kids, and uh, I think most players felt very comfortable with, uh, with, with Bud. Uh, not so much, obviously we all knew he was our, uh, the owner and our boss, but uh, it, it was a relationship that went beyond that. He, he was always concerned with how, uh, not just the players, uh, but their families were doing. And, and you know, that was, that was always comforting to know. And uh, there was more than one player that would uh, stop by his office on the way to the, to the you, you know, down to the clubhouse uh, when they'd get to the ballpark just to talk about things other than baseball many times. Bud and I were talking about Uke, and everybody knows the story about the scouting and the mashed potatoes and the yeah. gravy and the funny stories or whatever. But he's also become part of Wisconsin's soundtrack. You know, everybody listens to him. Are you amazed, Robin, at how funny he can be, but yet how knowledgeable he is with baseball and just becoming one of the greatest announcers of all time? Well, <laughs> as difficult as this may be to say, he's a genius, you know? He really is. I've known the guy since 1974. We've become close personal friends. To this day, he's the same guy I met in 1974. You know, he's aged a little bit physically, but between the years, he can recall stories like nobody I've ever been around. Mm. Uh, obviously still quick as a whip, so, you know, unfortunately, when that day comes when Yuke is gone, there's going to be a huge void that will never be filled uh, in, in the state, not just baseball-wise, but, uh, you know, just the, the relationship he has with the whole state of Wisconsin, shoot, the country for that matter. True. And then Hank, um, speaking of 1974, how did that guy, I mean, you're a fresh-faced kid coming in here, whatever, teenager still, and yet there's Hank Aaron, and how much did he take you under his wing? Well, he was a huge impact for a, a, a young kid. Uh, Hank came here my second year. My rookie okay. year, uh, uh, he was still with Atlanta and then came over in 75 and 6, so my, my second and third year. He was as big of an influence on me, not so much from the, well, kid, this is how you hit a baseball, this is how you field a ground ball, this is how you do whatever, not, not baseball-wise, but just as far as being a human being and a teammate. Here, I was a teammate at 19 years old of arguably the greatest player of all time, certainly one of. Mm -hmm. um, and I watched him go about his business. He had just broken the home run record. And I watched him go about his business just like any other guy in the clubhouse. He was there to do everything he could to get ready to play a baseball game and win that game. And so, you know, that's a, that's a big impact. We had a bunch of young players on the team at that time. And we're watching the greatest player of all time act like just any one of the rest of us. It was pretty humbling, and it was a great way to, to uh, you know, to start a career knowing, hey, guys, we're all in this together, and it's all about trying to win a championship. Mm. So it was uh, a, a big influence on me. Well, uh, you had Craig Council over to the house uh, before spring training. Yeah, we did. did that go? He I mean, and his wife and seen, all the kids, and yeah. You've seen him since he was a kid. Well, that's true. I, uh, yeah, probably the age of his oldest son, uh, if I remember right. Used to play catch with him out on in front of the dugout uh, before batting practice. I actually remember hitting him a few ground balls out at second base even. Uh, now, it's come full circle, although I don't know. I didn't get a call from him to ask him, uh, me to help coach this team, which um, I, I'm taking that a little personal right now. <laughs> Unfortunately, I thought I might get a, I would have told him no, but at least he could have called. Anyhow, he was very excited about the team. Um, he's not sure what he has, at least a few weeks ago when, when he came over for dinner, but he has a game plan on how he wants to develop the organizational's play. And I think it's, it's a great idea. He wants, he wants the opposing teams when they come in to know that they're coming in for a series mm -hmm. and they're gonna be competed against. 
and nobody's going to walk over anybody here in Milwaukee. And that's the way he wants to, he wants to teach a brand of baseball, Brewers, Brewers baseball. And I think it's a great way to, to, to start uh, basically with a whole young organization. Last week he told a story that nobody had ever heard before, and it was about you uh -oh. in a uh, game uh, against the single-A team from the Midwest League when you were coaching oh, the Diamondbacks. Yeah, yeah. You caught a couple of innings. I did, believe it or not. I, you know, I was a catcher in Little League, so it's like riding a bike, you know. And it was 40 years later or something. I got behind the plate. We had a, a, a little short left-handed bullpen, uh, not bullpen, but uh, batting practice pitcher that actually pitched. We were very close friends. The, 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 uh, Tony Dello was his name. He, and he threw batting practice when I was coaching. So this was an exhibition game in South Bend uh, against the uh, single A team. And they let, let Tony Dello pitch and I got to catch mm -hmm. the last two innings of the exhibition game. It was a blast. I had so much fun. Yeah. Did you ever try to catch before? Did you ever try to convince Harvey or Bambi or, or anybody that, you know, I, I did this in Little League, I can do this? Mm, no, that wasn't. I, I did want to try center field a couple of times, but just for fun. And I think what happened, that, that was a, oh, that's how I ended up out there. So I would never have tried that again. Had I known that I might go, I never would have told Bambi, hey, can I try playing center field once? Because I ended up out there. That's not exactly what I, my plan was. But. <laughs> We got to ask about Molly. How, t how tough is that? That you know, you get off to an 0 seven start, and you're kind of grasping at straws, and you just you see it from a distance. Well, he's used to it, though. Isn't that how they started last year? Mm, right. Yeah. So no, I, hey, the the first week or even the first month of a major league season is can be extremely exaggerated, good and bad. Mm -hmm. So you know, let's face it. We all know how long a baseball season can be. Right. Uh, Sometimes you can get off to a horrible start or a really great start, but after 162 games, it, it all kind of ends up where it should. So I have uh, uh, no doubts that, the, that uh, Paul will get those guys in the right frame of mind and, uh, and, and tell them that, oh yeah, you guys can still play. We're the same guys that won quite a few games last year and we're, we're in a pennant race. So I, I doubt that that'll go on much longer. And final question, because I know you gotta go one of your least favorite subjects, but how are you? People want to know. Oh, how no, I'm is. okay. I broke my hand pretty bad early on uh, in the year, in uh, January, but it's, uh, it's coming around. It's going to be a little slow getting the mobility back, but it's, it, it's coming around. It'll be just fine. And but thank you for asking. And you can hunt and you yeah. can do whatever you I want. I will be able to at some point. At least that's my goal. I was out on my motorcycle the other day cruising around the neighborhood, so it's not all bad. There you go. You can hunt and ride the bike. Yeah, that's it. I'm a happy guy. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's perfect. Okay. Thanks, Robin. All awesome. Right. Yep, you're welcome. I'll give you that hand. Yeah, there you go.